spaz off. Suddenly feels a little bit like the Metro series. Metro 2033. Where are we going? Oh, this is the Spasso Fish Factory. I think nobody's there now. That's good. And the line to the city's always open. How do you know all this? Have you worked there? Oh, not a chance. My mum worked there. Not a chance that you would have worked there, but it's normal for your mom to? Didn't you say there was no one here? Oh, fuck. Fuck, I think they're floating. Be quiet. Oh no. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. <coughs> what the heck? Oh, fish? Oh, that's caviar. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, that smell reminds me of my mother. She could never wash it off, no, no matter how she tried. The stench of fish. I even loved that smell. And she was shy about it. Whenever she had to go to the store or was summoned to my school, she, she used some unbearable perfume. It would tickle my fucking nose whenever she hugged me. Where is she now? I, I don't know. Oh no. Where's my father now? I'm not sure if I know that either. Hey, there's something there. We gotta obsess over the points. I don't think we can get there yet. Oh, maybe here? The Ladder of Divine Ascent This ladder was witnessed by Saint Jacob as he lay resting on his ascetic bed. Let us embark with zeal and faith on this heavenly ascension that begins with this shame we feel before God and ends with chastity. Already level up. Guilt 5 or shame 8? Guilt 5. 10 points right now. Shame 8. Every time you get points, you get extra 8. Well, that's easy! <laughs> That's easy. Assuming my goal is to become more faithful. I wonder if my dad is religious. Like, how did I get into Christianity? <laughs> I make it sound like a school club. But we all start somewhere, right? Maybe it's a family thing. Or maybe I was forced to because I somehow became a nun. We don't really know too much about that part yet, but something about the boy. That's a lot of fish. All right, okay, hold up. I'm gonna have to... Oh my god! Ooh! Oh no! Wow, this is so dangerous! Where am I- where am I going? Here. Ooh! Goodness. Oh, there's more? Are you joking me? Wait, there's a gigantic fish there, you see that? Ah! Ah! What the heck? Oh my goodness. I am living life on the edge. Where am I trying to go? This better be it. Ilya, did you do all that? More? Oh, dude, he made it over there already. Are you kidding me? He just left us. Oh, fish? Wait, I feel like fish is a religious symbol in 
something. I... Isn't fish related to Jesus Christ? I might be wrong. I don't know. I'm pulling this information from, like, the recesses of my mind. Symbol of fish. More? Not again. I know, right? Hey, why is that one just hanging there? Oh, these ones aren't moving now. Oh, okay. That's good. It's different because previously it was moving. Now it's easier. Stationary. Uh... What the heck? Oh, that was on purpose. Thought I died. Oh, it's really cold here. Ooh. Hmm. Something something lust is a sin. Something something. What are you waiting for? Take everything off. Are you crazy? Oh my god, he's taking everything off! If we don't get everything dry, we'll freeze to death. Could put a fish between us. Sorry, that might be like a graphic setting, the way the shadows are kind of pixely. I have no idea how nice it feels to take my wimper off. My head's so itchy all the time. Is that about chastity and stuff? Don't show too much skin? We're not even allowed to sleep without it. It's not like anything anyone will see you if, if you take it off. Oh, the Dean walks around all night checking on us. Really? It's just like the screws in the clink. Our Dean is more like a warden. She also manages the coin and assigns our bunks. And... Feels like a prison of its own. What is that? Is it getting worse? Indica. Small from your arm is unbearable. Oh no, it's getting worse. Hmm, a little bit of tension building there. When words are many, sin is not lacking. When words are many, sin is not lacking. Why? Like when we speak, the more we say, the more we sin. So the monastery wasn't your choice? It was. But when your decision has a reason, is it really a choice? When a brook hits a rock, does it choose which way to go? Oh, fuck me. You're, you're not a brook. You, you have your own free will. Free will. Choices. But whenever we make a choice, don't we base it on our previous experience? Don't we estimate all the possible benefits in our head? And if we go against the rational, don't we realize that we're being driven by our emotions, by our passions? Do you understand? As I was saying, our will helps us to control our passions. Resist temptation. And that's true. But when you control your emotions, there's always a reason, right? You can explain why you're doing it, build a string of logic. 
Mm, maybe not always. Exist, all that remains would be your logical shit. How the fuck can one live without a soul? Humans haven't learned that yet. Uh, ask him if he knows what a soul even is. Everyone says soul this, soul that, but can anyone clearly explain what it is? Yes, but even a soul has its own inclinations. Let's say your soul gravitates towards God, and mine doesn't. Is that my choice, then? Or, in theory, let, let's imagine that the choice isn't based on anything. What kind of choice is it, then? Pure chance. Wait, so, so you're saying choice is an empty word? Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't even understand the point of this whole choice thing, this freedom that God has graced us with. Why would God need our so-called freedom if in the end he's only satisfied with strictly defined choices? He could have just made me in a way he would have liked me. Interesting point. Now I'm very curious why Indica even went to the monastery. Apparently a choice she made, but she had a reason, so kinda not like her choice. Uh, I, I wonder if her dad sent her. And what would cause... Hmm. Like maybe she had a relationship with that boy who stole her bike or something, and then her dad got angry, and is like, I'm gonna send you to the monastery so you can become chased again, or something like that. That might explain why the other nuns at the monastery already don't like me to begin with. Because if they know the reason, if there's a reason why we're there, as opposed to someone just going, I'm gonna become a nun today because I'm very devoted to God, and I would like to be pious. Then they're gonna be like, oh yeah, this person's a sinner. Uh... Oh, some kind of contamination thing? Fish? It's like we're drowning. This is dripping. Want me to go first? What even was that? Wait, I kind of want to look at that. Excuse me, Ilya. It's something about dangers, and it's something about contamination, I would guess, <laughs> based off the pictures. Are we allowed to be here? Hey, you play? Oh, with one hand? You don't play? No. I do. Once I played at Bats. Where? F and Bats. He owns a tavern. You played in front of people? I got a standing ovation. Can you play something? With one hand? How can I? That was a bit... maybe not the wisest thing to say. What is this a blackboard of? A lot of repeats of the same people. Is this like, what are those numbers, I wonder? People who are on duty at a certain time? What's that say? Bread on a cup?
Is it okay that we're just sort of here? Because I get the feeling we're invading. Fourfold icon. These icons were never popular, even though they were sold for 10 rubles in the store compared to 20 for four separate icons. After all, four icons on the wall are four icons on the wall. That's not good. You don't want more? It's not the kind of thing where the more the merrier. <laughs> Apparently not so. Kind of like that they, you know, they're talking about how Ilya likes to play guitar. When we were getting off that little trolley, he tried to grab the guitar too. Because up until now, uh, we've... I've... I've kind of... Um, typecasted him as, oh look, he's a prison convict. But he, he has other qualities to him aside from that too. Okay. Our... Oh, okay, this, this factory... Hmm... This factory focuses on gigantic fish. I see, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, fish is some Christian thing, right? I think maybe. Wow, these are... These are gigantic. Even bigger than that horse thing we saw in the monastery. I'm not touching this. Doesn't work. Oh, it does work. Oh. Why am I... Should I follow you? Should I take the elevator? Why are you... Dude! We could just go... Up. Why are you walking? Who are they? I don't know. Never seen those before. Uh... Maybe we weren't supposed to take the elevator. Yeah, I get the sense that might be the case. <laughs> Let's go back down one and then... Oh, yo, but I can't even connect to the... This might be more annoying than I'm expecting. I want to take the elevator away so I can cross that. Or maybe I'll just... You know what I'm trying to do here? I'm trying to... Okay, fine, I'll just go... Maybe... Down here... Oh, in that... Uh, this might be okay. Let's see. Can I... No, I probably have to bring it back up a little bit. Why on earth? They're making this so difficult. Wait, oh, so this is a puzzle involving the... Yeah, you're not supposed to, because if I'm here, then I can't touch the stairs. It's supposed to be a puzzle. Oh, okay, I see. Except I kind of made Ilya walk across the wall. Yeah, this is a puzzle. This is a puzzle. Okay, I, I think I got it. Took a little bit of setting up. Let's see. So we're on the first floor, the third floor right now. This one is here. That one is on the bottom, the most bottom floor. I'm going to take this down. And then go out here. Which... So the slab is in the right position because I want to be able to crawl across it. This one. Here, we can't access the staircase. So I'm going to jump down here. Because I can access the staircase here. Which means now I can just manually walk back up to the third floor and get across. Who designed this elevator? This is not how elevators work. Oh, yeah. Need to sit down after that one. No fair. Ilya just sort of... just went across. <laughs> oh, beautiful fish. Let's go, my guy. Oh, after we get across here. Here's what I think. Oh, shit. Here, here we go again. <laughs> I'm not telling you anything from now on. Oh, come on. I, I, I'm joking. Tell me. You, you were wondering ab about freedom. Why did God make you free? Here, here's what I think. If I were the Tsar, I, I wouldn't want my wife to be a slave. I, I would find myself a free girl that can love me genuinely. Do, do you understand? Yes. It's a good example. But now imagine if your Tsar has found himself a girl he loves. Can you? 
So? So he confesses his feelings to her and invites her to his palace. So? And now imagine that the Tsar also says, if you come, I'll drape you in gold. And if you don't, I'll hang you on a hook and burn you slowly. This also requires her to return his feelings. I see where you're going with this, but it's not God who burns people in hell. That would be those damn demons, enemies of mankind. Very well. In this case, the Tsar says, if you come, I'll cover you in gold. And if you don't, Parfum the Butcher will catch you, hang you on a hook and burn you slowly. I love <laughs> it's the you same thing. <laughs> but can't do anything about it. Think about it. If even the Tsar can't actually do anything about this butcher because of some unclear circumstances, why can't he just stay silent? So you're saying nobody can love God genuinely? No. No, it's not like that. I... Do you want to love... Hmm. She is doing a lot of questioning here, but I think it's a... Uh... This is a good thing, though, and I I suspect most religious people go through this. At the end of it, maybe they'll find that it's not for them, or their faith will become stronger. One or the other, right? It's good to, good to clarify with yourself which one it's going to be. Earlier, I discovered that there's an inventory section. This is the stuff we picked up, but there was also a few things that I don't think we looked at before. Letter to Father Herman. This is useless. Rosary. When Indica's life becomes completely unbearable, she clutches the cross on her rosary so hard that blood oozes from her palm. It's the only way to drown out the devil's hateful voice. Is it really the devil? Oh, okay, we went backwards a little bit. Pavel. Pavel Sergeyevich, Indica's father. Mother Abbess doesn't give her blessing to keep a photograph, but for Indica, this picture is the last link to her previous worldly life. Yeah, she she can't have a a normal life anymore. And she's already kind of sinning right now then, right? You're not supposed to keep a photograph of your previous associations. I think that's it. Yeah, these are the stuff that we picked up before. Oh. Giant fish cans. Normal. We have to check one place before the line. Where? You'll see. I've hidden something there. All right. You've hidden something here? Very normal. Can I touch that? No? Wow, yeah, like everything is supersized around here. Makes you feel minuscule, huh? Yes, Ilya? You jump in or what? You didn't give me any instructions. Where are we going exactly? We have to go over there. Okay, so you went over there and I'm just stuck here? Well, that sounds fascinating. What the heck? How am I getting over there? I can't move this one anymore. What? How the heck am I... Oh, am I climbing some of this stuff, maybe? Do you want to just go down? Oh. Okay. We can climb on those cans. You mean me? Aren't you over already? It's not that complicated. Um, something like that. Got a can grabber. How do I grab a can? Which which can do you like 
grabbing. I gotta... Grab a certain kind of can at a certain height. Something like that, right? Right, I gotta get it like that. So I want to build up a platform to that thing, probably. Oh. Can you just put it right on top? Not a thing? Seriously? Oh, actually. Just put it right next to it. And then the goal is for me to climb up. But I, like, I need to get away. I need to get up like this. I don't think this is enough yet, but let me just confirm this is what we're doing. Like that, right? But then I have to get up there. Actually. Oh, hey! Oh, uh, close but no cigar. The machine doesn't go up that high, though. I kind of... Hold up. Okay, this is like... It's like right there, but I can't... Oh, I'm just short. Really? Am I really just short? Because the, the can machine can't even go up that high, so I'm wondering... Where... Where is our entry point here? I need one more here. Basically, right? Oh, maybe... I just have to move the machine over. Can I stand on the machine? Oh, yes. Yes! Do we really need it? We'll see. What are we getting here? Better be worth it. Don't we need to get you to a doctor? Are we even allowed here? There's nobody here. Everyone's asleep. No, when we first came here, before we fell down, there were people. The one on the right is ours. You don't want to go down. A secret entrance. Look. Wow. How is this? I mean, oh, glimmering lights. It's called a stroboscope effect, like looking through a bike wheel. Yeah, well, uh... beautiful. <clears throat> well, I mean, it's pretty. That's not the only reason why you brought me here, though, is it? Now you are. if we climb all the way here just for this. Your childhood stuff? I'll show you. There's a guitar. Toy guitar. Sit down. This, this puddle. She's a singer. Why puddle? Because this is Seva. He's a guitarist. Quiet. 
in forest lullaby All the stars are in the sky Silent shepherd crescent moon Plays a cheerful trumpet tune Only in the dark of night Stars above us shine <gasps> Oh! What? The... Oh no! The sepsis or something! Oh no. Oh, his head. He hit his head. What should I do? Ah! You know what? No, no, everything will be all right. Of course. No, we were almost there. Not almost. Do you know where the hospital is? Do you think they'll take someone like him? So what do we do? He's a person. Pray. I don't think Indica actually has too much medical training. Oh, are you serious? Elia, don't wake up. Don't wake up. Look at me. Ooh! John of Damascus. Okay, that was... It needed to be done? We might have even had the best tool available for it. It's quick, but probably not painless. Back to Mirko. I can't go further. Scared to wet your pants? Nah, if I were alone. How about this? If I get to the other side without wetting my skirt, you'll teach me to play the flute. Oh boy, here we go again. All right. And if you do wet it, will you kiss me? Not a chance. What are you thinking? Well, you're sure of your success, aren't you? If you reach the other side, I'll make another flute just for you. Deal. I'm sorry, but we're not. I have doubts about this. <laughs> Without wetting my skirt. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's more! What? Okay, well, without wetting my skirt is, is gone. Yeah, this is difficult because you can only do two hops, basically, and you gotta jump before they even appear. Oh, goodness. Which way are we going? I don't think we can do...
Oh no! It takes a little bit of thinking. I'm done, man. Does it count as wetting my skirt if I fail? Because technically, we're getting a rewind, right? <laughs> Oops. Well, he- we did that right in front of him. <laughs> Oh, this is... We gotta go to the one on the left side. What?! Whoa, what a jerk! But may maybe the kind of jerk I like is the sense I'm getting. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee. Ooh, I think we we might have taken that a little bit literally. What's the the meaning of this though? What's it trying to say? Maybe I should try to look it up. Huh. Wikipedia says this is about lust. It's about adultery. Oh my goodness. Indica. Quiet. Quiet. It's all good. It's all good. Shh. shh. Lie down. Lie down. Come on. I'm sorry. Everything's Ilya. going to be alright. Otherwise, you would have. But lie down. Shh. 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 Okay. It's against God's plan. You went against God. Hmm. Against God, not in the slightest. This is not that bad. Please be, be still. Be quiet, please. Please. Not, not that bad, huh? Will it go back? Why not? It's not like it's harder for God to work one miracle than... A miracle? You didn't... You didn't believe in it. From the start, you were angry that a miracle could happen to me. No. To, a person like me. No. Women so, so dumb and jealous. Whoa. Give me an injection. There's none left. All oh, this, this time, this, this wasn't just empty talk. I know. All this f philosophy. Joyce, <laughs> God, God doesn't talk to me anymore since I met you. No, leave me. I'll be on, on my own. I'm Don't sorry. touch me. Oh, wow. Oh, his arm is still there, my gosh. It's kind of like that story we read about how the, um, the person was very upset that they gave in to the devil by crawling out of a hole. And that it was correct for them to um, stay in there and keep suffering, because I guess that would have been more aligning with God's plan. He wasn't even thankful at all that we saved him. Hmm, because he... he really believes in it. He's pious from the heart. For the first time since meeting Ilya, Indica felt a stab of doubt. What if she'd made a mistake? What if she had done something wrong? What if the Kudyats wouldn't work? Why was every step on her road to God drawing her closer to the devil? I did everything correctly. Otherwise he would have died from sepsis. And if he didn't? There! He's healed! A miracle! Wouldn't feel good, would it? That means he was indeed talking to God and earned his absolution. Hmm. God, please, talk to me this one time. How did I go against you? 
Is it in my power to intervene in your design? Is this a part of your plan? Is this how it's supposed to be? He will be all right. The arm will heal. Ilya will live. He'll live. We may have intervened in a miracle. So now I have to feel guilt for this as well? You can see I'm trying. But he's always behind my shoulder. Me again. You were driven by fear. The fear of ending up with a corpse. And back then, with the gypsy. What was it? Were you restless because of his tanned arms? We doubted that God would work a miracle, and so we helped Ilya, but he wasn't appreciative of that at all. Oh, should I be... I guess I should be going up. Where, though? What's with all the papers? It's like a, suddenly like a fa paper factory. Paper for wrapping... the fish. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Where is Ilya gonna go? Are we... Are we not gonna go to the Kudats together anymore? Two doors. Left or right. Boy. Needs effort. Oh. Ilya left his cup low. I have it. Was that? Did both those doors go to the same place? Probably. Whoa. You done loading? Still cans of fish everywhere. I'm sure this means something. Something something symbolism. Maybe if I could read what it says. Is that just general fish can things or something more? Thought I could go up here. Oops. That goes up. Or we can make it come down. It just stays at a certain spot. Oh, hold up. I think we can at least be like this. As it turns out, we can just go up here. And then we can climb up here. Oh, that's it. I Yes, that's it. What do we do now, then? Are we still aiming for the kudats? I guess that's all we have. Ilya, he's exactly the kind of person that we talked about before, where he came into the faith on his own, whereas we don't really know the reason why Indica started believing in God. But clearly, like she said earlier, it's like, oh, I had a reason. It's not like I came here because I really wanted to, independently of everything else. Huh. Is that just where we came? Isn't this just where I came from? What if I go here? Another side? All this seems like we went up one more floor.
at the end of the day, Indica is just doing a whole bunch of stuff and she just doesn't... She doesn't feel strongly enough about it, intrinsically, to really believe in it. But she wants to, though. I feel like she does want to, because now she's starting to have doubts. You can come up. Nope, can you go back down a little bit? Yeah, like that. What is that? Um... That may have been a bad choice. I don't know why we did that. Why did we do that? And I can't- I can't push it anymore. Is that gonna be okay? Now this means I- oh, I can move this up a little bit more. Right, like that? Because now I can get up like this. Right. Now is that gonna get me anywhere? I might have to push this up a little bit- oh. It's just dark, that's all. Are you out of here? The Temple of John of Damascus. The one from the poster was towering over Indica. She was consumed by anxiety more and more. What if she was late? What if they realized who she was and wouldn't let her in? What if she was not worthy of a miracle? Maybe one needed to buy a ticket to see the miracle, and all the tickets had sold out. What if her certainty in God's plan was just another delusion, a temptation she so faint-heartedly succumbed to? It's normal to have these doubts, but it's kind of scary. I imagine if she had someone at the monastery to talk to about these feelings, maybe it would be a little bit better. Because I feel like a lot of them probably went through the same thing. But at the same time, that monastery, maybe it would be the kind where they're like, Oh my gosh, how dare you? How can you not immediately believe in God? So I don't know. Maybe they wouldn't have been that receptive anyway. Where can I go? I, I'm stuck here. Over here. Oh, that very... <laughs> very nearly could have been me. Hi? Alright. Am I here? Am I basically here? Oh, yeah, it's a poster. Is it March 20th today? Maybe I'll see Ilya again. Aren't we going to the same damn place? Okay, you can go down here? Wait, did it not work? Maybe not. It's snowing pretty badly again. Bash you, right, possibly left. <laughs> Pavel Sergeyevich, Indica's father, called his servants bastards because of their bashus, emphasizing the cultural gap between himself and the uneducated peasantry. Oh, was he kind of well off? The latter, however, refused to notice this gap, especially if they had a chance to have a drink with the former. Oh. My dad might have been someone important. Oh, aren't you gonna take that? We can't take it. Can't take it for religious points? No? That's it for now? Really? It looks like there's a... yeah, there's a lock on this. Okay, well... Can I just jump down? Oh! What the heck? <laughs> Could've just gone down like that. Hello? 
Hold up. We can, we can do something about this. Oh. Like that? Let me have a look around first. Everything is locked. The life of Saint Jonah. In his first years as a monk, the reclusive Saint Jonah lived with Optatus, a shrewd old man known for tempting his brothers and trying their patience. Jonah was no exception. In the morning, Optatus would hide under a bench and jump at him, screaming. In the refectory, he would yell and hurl dead flies and soot from the furnace into Jonah's food. When Jonah was praying, Optatus would shriek and slap the prayer book from his hands. And before going to bed, Optatus would scream and hit Jonah in the stomach with a hot firebrand. Sounds like a life of suffering. Or some people might... They might view it as a trial. Like some kind of trial they have to overcome. Yeah, alright. Just checking. Am I allowed in here? I feel like- I mean, I don't think we're allowed in here. We didn't even knock nicely on the... on the door. Uh, I don't know if we should let him know we're here. I don't know if we can. Maybe for the better. What's he doing though? Doesn't even notice a light behind him. Have fun then. Maybe he's slacking off from work. <laughs> 